झालं की लगेच तुमचं बोर्ड वरती करतो वेल फ्रेंड्स वी आर लर्निंग द लेसन द नेकलेस ऑलरेडी वी हॅव सीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन इन दॅट वी हॅव सीन थ्री कॅरेक्टर्स फर्स्ट कॅरेक्टर इज मटिल्डा हू इज अ पुअर अँड ब्युटिफुल पुअर अँड व्हेरी ब्युटिफुल वुमन हू हॅज मॅरिड विथ मिस्टर लॉयजल हू इज वर्किंग एज अ क्लर्क इन एज्युकेशन ऑफिस and then again one character we have uh, learned in this lesson that is madam forestier who is very rich woman and matilda's friend so when we started the lesson that time we have learned how matilda wanted to gain something in her life but she couldn't even though she was very beautiful but she couldn't get uh, the husband uh, according to her choice because of it is a destiny and uh, she has uh, accepted it but she was not happy in her life and one day what happened uh, her husband has brought one invitation card of the party ball party and uh, that time husband was very very excited that uh, he would give uh, he had given something to uh, his wife uh, for the happiness but she was not happy after seeing that uh, invitation card because uh, she thought that i don't have that uh, very great dress or something like that and i don't have jewels also so she said that uh, why i do just give that invitation card to one of your colleague uh, who has uh, uh, whose wife has great dress or very impressive dress then uh, he thought that okay i have to purchase one dress for my wife then whatever money he has stored for uh, his summer hunting uh, you know that uh, idea so that 400 he asked uh, his wife how many how much money you need for that and she said that around 400 francs she want and then uh, he said okay i will give that and but uh, you have to purchase very neat one neat dress then she has purchased and she was quite happy but as that ball the uh, ball uh, that particular program was approaching she was not happy again uh, her uh, husband miss loisel asked uh, why you are looking so indifferent you are not looking so happy and then she said okay uh, i have dress but i don't have jewel and without jewel uh i would be looking like a poor i will see i uh, that all will uh, insult me then he said some uh, way that uh, you can have some natural flowers so you will be uh, look beautiful already you are so beautiful so if you will use that natural flowers you will look so beautiful he sa- she said no i don't want that uh, then uh, he had one idea this loisel this loisel has one idea that you can, why why don't you ask your uh, your friend who is richest one uh, that madam forestier you can ask her uh, to you know lend one one of her uh, jewel then this was very great idea for uh, matilda and then she went to her house and she asked uh, i want uh, your one uh, ornament for the party then she said okay fine why not you just go and take and she just uh, tried to select one but she couldn't because all things were very you know impressive and all and she couldn't uh, find one for the party then at the last she asked uh, you don't have any uh, more necklace or all she said oh i have many but i don't know uh, which will like you then uh, she has given one black diamond necklace and she has put it on her neck and she said oh it's marvelous and i want it then uh, she had taken and then say then they went for the uh, party till we have learn and when she went to the party that time she was very looking so very gorgeous and everybody was everybody was uh, appreciating her beauty and all everybody noticed her uh, in that particular party you will see that this is the part which we have learned in the first part of the lesson the necklace now we will see that uh, she went uh, she danced with the enthusiasm because she was very happy when we are very happy we become so positive and same thing a similar thing happened with her and that is why she become so happy and that is why she danced enthusiastically into uh, intoxicated with the pleasure and she was very spiritual miss uh, she was at her high spirit she was very uh, she had got much energy to dance thinking of nothing but only uh, uh, all this admiration she has she has got admiration as well because everybody was noticing her oh you are looking so fine you are looking so beautiful that is why that all admiration she has collected and that what uh, she, she was thinking and she was dancing this victory is so complete and sweet to her heart because she hasn't uh, you know witnessed that it was unprecedented for her 
because it was not never before uh, known her because she was always at her home because she was very um, poor she couldn't afford such type of things but this is the first time she has got this opportunity and that is why she was very happy and it was you know, very close to her heart she went home towards uh, four o'clock in the morning her husband had been uh, half asleep asleep in one of the little saloons or maybe room since midnight with three other gentlemen whose wives were enjoying themselves very much and uh, her husband was not that um, you know enjoying that party uh, and all affairs uh, he has done only for her for his wife and that is why uh, since midnight he was uh, little asleep he was not enjoying but he was uh, resting in one of the saloon one of the room but uh, with those gentlemen whose wives were wives were enjoying the party and at four o'clock she started to go home he threw around uh, her shoulders her uh, the modest wrap uh, they had carried whose poverty clashed with the elegance of the ball costume and you know that it is um, it was in you know, the morning time very long time and that is why he had given one uh, one one type of cloth around her shoulder so that she will not feel that cold but you know that there are, uh, when some rich people are people are there they use fur and uh, she is very costly one and that is why when she has got that by her husband that one type of shawl uh, on her uh, um, shoulder around her shoulder she becomes so panic <coughs> because it was not looking so good with that costume she wished to hurry away in order not to be noticed by the other women who were wrapping themselves in rich furs and why because this is a you know matter of status and that is why she hurriedly walking from that particular place because she doesn't want to get noticed by uh, any other rich person because rich women have uh, rich furs Okay, rich purse means what? Uh, which is very costly and which is nicely suited uh, for a sh uh, for their uh, costume. <coughs> Why they'll detain her? Wait, and he said, "I am going to call a cab." Okay, don't run. Wait, and already you have exhausted maybe because of the party because of dancing. So now don't don't go hurriedly. I will call cab, but uh, she would not. He would not listen and descended the step rapidly. When they were in the street, they found no carriage. There was no any vehicle because it was very morning. It was very, and they became. They began to seek for one, hailing the coachman who uh, they saw at the distance, and uh, they were calling. Hailing is calling. They were calling the coachman where they have uh, seen, but couldn't uh, find that. They walked along towards the river, helpless and shivering. Because they uh, didn't get any vehicle, that is why they were walking on the road, shivering. Uh, finally, they found one of those um, old carriages, and they uh, that one sees in the Paris after nightfall. And they have got one carriage, and they started their journey. It took them as far as their door, and they uh, went wearily up to their apartment. Wearily means very uh, tired. They went to the apartment because they walked. They have throughout the night. They have danced in the party. That is why uh, they went uh, very tiredly in their apartment. It was all over for her now. This was a very golden day in her life, and she has enjoyed. And she said, "Now it is okay. Now again, I will not get this such type of opportunity." So it was all over for her. And on his part, he remembered that he would have to be at the office by the ten o'clock. And Mr. Loisel had um, realized that okay, now this particular all decoration and all this scenario has been over. Now I have to think about my office, where I have to go. I have to reach at ten o'clock. And he he just understood that. She removed the wraps for her show, uh, from her shoulder before, uh, before the glass for a final view of her ceremonial glory. And you know that women has certain. Uh, Desire to see her beauty again, and again, and that is why at last, uh, one more time, she wanted to see her beautiful in front of mirror, and that is why last time she was about to see her. Suddenly, she uttered a cry. Her necklace was not around her neck, and why she was crying? Why she has shouting? Why she was shouting? Because she didn't find uh, her necklace around her neck. Loisel already half undressed because now because he was ready to uh, take rest because again he has to re uh, ready for the 
his office and that is why he was undressed, uh, half undressed and he was about to sleep and suddenly he heard the noise of uh, Matilda. I have, I have, no, I have, I no longer have ma'am, madam uh, Forestier's necklace and they noticed, they, uh, he arose uh, in this way, this means very sad, he arose, me who? Mr. Loisel arose very dismayed. He becomes so happy, unhappy. What? How is that? It is not possible. How it is possible now? How it is possible that how we cannot afford afford that? He was dismayed. He was unhappy. He was um, totally pessimistic. We can say. Okay. He was totally disappointed. And they looked in the folds of the dress and they started uh, searching the necklace here and there folds, then shawls, and everywhere they were. Uh, looking in the pockets everywhere, they could not find it. He asked, you were sure you still had it uh, when it, when we left the minister's house? And then he asked, he inquired that, are you sure when you started from the minister's house, was that on your neck, at your neck? Yes, I felt it was as we came out. It was there when we came out. But if you uh, had lost it in the street, we should have heard it fall because necklace it, if it will fall down then we will get the sound of that falling sound then it is also not there it must be in the cab yes it is possible did you take the number of the cab cab driver no it was not there no and you did not notice what it was no they looked at each other utterly cast down because they have lost something which was very precious which was very valuable and they can't have that much money they can't afford that. They can't afford to, uh, afford to buy those things. I am going, he said, over the track where we went on foot to see if I can find it out. And then he said, okay, I will go where, where, we, where we were walking. I will go there. I will see whether it is lying there or not. And he went. Uh, she remained in her evening gown, not having the force to go to the bed because she was totally disappointed. Because the happiness he has got, he has earned with this particular moment that was totally gone off. And that is why she couldn't wish to go to bed to sleep there. Towards 7 o'clock, um, her husband returned. He had found nothing. And till 7 o'clock, he has come. Uh, just see, around uh, 2 hours, 2-3 two, hours, he was just uh, wandering here and there. And she is uh, wandering here and there. And he is trying to find out a necklace, but he couldn't get that necklace. He went to the police station and to the cab office and put an advertisement in the newspaper offering a reward. One who will get that uh, particular necklace will get the reward like that he has given and he went to the post office police station also. She waited all day in the state of uh, bewilderment, uh, miss very confusion before this uh, frightful disaster. Loisel returned in the evening, uh, his, pay, his face was very pale, he was not that uh, happy, he was not that enthusiastic, which was, uh, that expression was there before the night when they were going to a uh, party, that everything was lost now. Then uh, Loisel returned to the evening, his face was pale, he had discovered nothing. He said, write to your friend that you have broken the clap, miss clutch of that particular necklace uh, and that you will have to be repaired. So that will give us time, uh, she, she, uh, she wrote as he dictated and then uh, he said that uh, now we have to give it to uh, Mrs. Forrest, Madam Forrester and we can't give it right now. So uh, write it down, write one notice, write one message to her that it is, it is broken so it needs it need repair. So it will take uh, some time and you will get also some time. At the end of the week, they had lost all hope and Loisel, old, uh, older by five years, declared, we must replace this well. Now, he said, now they have tried for one week, but they couldn't get. And then they declared that, now we have to replace it. We have to give one another uh, jewel to your friend. It is final now. In the shop of the um, Palais Royal, they found a, a chaplet of diamonds, which seems to them exactly the similar which they have taken from the forest year, Madam Forest year. They could get it uh, for 36. Now, what is the cost of that? It was about around 40, 40 um, thousand francs. They could get it from th for 36 thousand. Loisel possessed 18 thousand francs uh, which his father had left him. He borrowed the rest. 
he made arrangements for promises took money from the uh, ushers and whole rates of the land and he has taken some money only he had around 18000 francs uh, from his father and now he had to uh, find a more 18 plus uh, 18000 francs okay and plus 4000 but he could get at 36 so more 18000 francs he has to uh, collect but so it was very you know miserable condition in the life of mr loisel then he went to the gate new necklace uh, then he has uh, collected from the some more people and then uh, he went to buy one new necklace then he went to the gate new necklace depositing on the merchant's counter uh, 36,000 francs and he has given, he has deposited around 36,000 francs and he has taken. When Madame Loisel took um, back the jewels to Madame Forrester, the letter say, uh, said to her in the frigid tone, it's very harassed tone and when she had given, because she has taken much days, many days, that is why she said that uh, with the harassed tone, you should have written them to me sooner for I might have needed them. Why don't you, why didn't you return me very soon? I, I might have needed that so but they couldn't she couldn't uh, say anything on for that <coughs> madam forster did not open the jewel box as ma'am uh, loisel feared the uh, she would and suppose she would uh, open the um, that jewel box she might uh, have seen okay it is not that okay even though they have matched that with um, new diamond necklace but suppose she would have opened it she would have uh, say that uh, it is not mine but thank God she didn't open the uh, that particular case. What uh, would she think if she should perceive the substitution? And suppose you have seen uh, that it's, uh, it, is, it is not which I have given to you. It is substitution, which is another one. What should she say? What she take her for a robber? And then many questions were there in her mind. Suppose she would see that. Suppose she would see that. Then what she will see? She will suppose me as, as I am robber. Many many things. Many questions are always uh, in her mind, but she didn't see that. Ma'am Loisel uh, now kept uh, the horrible life of the city. Now she has understood that I have to work harder and harder because I have to, uh, you know, I have to uh, again collect the money for the debt because they have to uh, collect around thirty-six thousand francs because they have lost that only for the one night. One night she wanted to become so happy, and that is why she has taken jewel from her friend. And she has lost it and now she has to pay the debt she did her part uh, however completely uh, heroically and she now becomes she's changed she changed herself she now uh, wanted to uh, do something extra to gain those money it, is, it was necessary to pay this uh, frightful debt she would pay it they sent away the maid now she she's working herself before she was not working herself she was uh, she was having one maid but now she uh, sent the maid they changed their lodgings they rented some of the rooms in the attic roof space the roof some space uh, some rooms were there they, they have given on rent so see they could get some money uh, she learned the odious work of the kitchen and then uh, she washed the dishes she washed the soil linen then uh, their clothes and this clothes we see hung on the line to dry she took down the refuse to the street each morning and brought up the water stopping at each landing to catch her breath and clothes like a woman of the people and she had a desire, desire any any sort of good very uh, no some impressive clothes she uh, tried to wear a very common costume which other poor people wear like that she went to the grocers the butchers and uh, fruiterers with her basket on her arm shopping hangling uh, hangling miss uh, bargaining to the last so miss very you know, very low currency miss last part of the currency we can say okay so that much she was bargaining in a miserable money because now she is trying to collect the money because she has lost around 36000 francs so she used to go by before uh, she used to um, go by car or something cab but right now she was going by alone she was going alone to everywhere we go to the shop or butcher shop or uh, fruiter shop and there she goes uh, she goes and she used to bargain for the very low low sauce or I mean very uh, last part of the currency means finer uh, coining a low value which has low value the husband worked evening putting the books of the some merchant in order and night he often did 
copying at five souls of three. Five souls means five souls he used to get that currency particular means low value of the currency he used to get only five after doing much hard work. And this life lasted for ten years, and they did it for ten years to match up the debt. At the end of the ten years, they had restored all. Madame Loisel seemed old now because she hadn't seen herself. She was only working hard to get those money, get those forty thousand francs. She had become uh, now. She became so strong, hard woman. Because before we have described her, she was very beautiful. She was poor but very beautiful, uh, and she was very charming when she went to the party that time. Everybody was noticing her. But right now, after ten years, long hard work, she becomes so. Uh, old, she becomes so strong, and she was not looking that beautiful woman. She becomes so crude woman of the poor household. Her hair badly dressed, her skirt uh, ever, her hands red. She spoke in the loud tone and washed the floor with the large pails of water. Now everything was changed. Before she was disappointed to have a husband like Mr. Royzel, who is a clerk in the education office. But right now, she is changed with the one incident. She has lost much wealth, and she has to pay the debt of that. And that is why she become totally. She transform herself within these ten years. There was no beauty in her character, in her personality. But sometimes, when her husband flows uh, with the large piece of husband was at the hobby, she would uh, sit herself before the window and think of that evening party of the former times. But this was the you know one particular moment was she had witnessed in her life when her husband used to be at ho uh, office. Sometimes when she is alone, she was alone. She used to remember those. She used to recollect that particular memory which she has spent in one of the evening, which was that ball party in minister's house. I hope that ball where she was so beautiful and so flattered, she was so admired by many people. She was noticed by many people. How would it have been if she had not lost the necklace? Now she is trying to. That time she used to try to console herself with, if I would not have lost that necklace, then that circumstance and the situation would be how would have been different right now. But it was you no know, past thing. Who knows how singular is life and how full of changes? How small a thing will ruin or save one? One Saturday, as she was taking a walk in the champs, else to read herself of the cares of the week, she suddenly perceived a woman walking with a child. And one day, she was just walking in the evening, and she has seen one woman having having one child, and it was. Madame Forestier, still young, still pretty, and still attractive. Just see, there is a contract contradiction has been shown. One woman who is very rich doesn't have any anxiety. That is why she remain as it is. One woman who is who was really looking beautiful, but because of the anxiety, hard work, she look she becomes so old, and she has lost all her charms. So this is a contradiction. This is a contrast thing. Contrast situation matters in everybody's personality. That writer want to show here. Okay, the one who was really beautiful becomes so old and strong and not that beautiful, and the one who remain as it is, like she was before ten years, because of the situation. This writer want to convey here. It was Madame Forestier, still young, still pretty, and still attractive. Madame Loisel was affected. Should she speak to her? Yes, certainly. And now that she had paid, she would tell her all. Why not? She had paid. She hadn't uh, said something that I will not pay or I have. I am sorry, I couldn't give you that. It was lost. No, no. She had given. She has replaced another diamond necklace. So she approached her. Good morning, Jane. Her friend did not recognize her and was astonished to be so familiar addressed by this common personage. She stammered, "But, madam, I don't know you. Uh, you must be mistaken. I don't know you. You must be mistaken because she has called her with the name, and it was very close. That is why she she was very stammered. She stopped herself, but she didn't understand who is that lady who who is calling me. 
No, I am Matilda Loisel. Her friend uttered a cry of astonishment. Oh, my poor Matilda, how you have changed. Just see one word she has used here, which was very, you know, touching, or we can say, which is, which is very hurting. Oh, my poor Matilda, she has deliberately said that poor Matilda, you are looking so poor. So I couldn't understand you, couldn't recognize you. This should not be there in anybody's character that you should not say that you, oh my poor Matilda, poor, it should not be there. Yes, I have had some hard days since I saw you and some miserable ones and all because of you. And she said, okay, yes, I'm looking so old now. I'm not looking so beautiful because when I saw you, when I've taken one necklace from you, from that day onwards, everything was changed and I had I uh, spent many miserable days in my life because of me and she said because of you because of me she asked how is that you recall the diamond necklace that you loaned me to be here to this minister's hall balls yes very well i know that that you have taken because she had given something and that is why she never forget that she hasn't forget that forgotten that well i lost it that particular necklace i have lost how is that since you returned to me but how it is possible? You have written to me. I written another to you exactly like it. And it has taken us 10 years to pay for it. And how much money we have, uh, you know, spent to buy that, which we have given to you for that. I have worked for 10 years. You can understand that it was not easy for us who have nothing. But it is finished and I am decently content. Just it is finished, whatever debt we have faced, that is finished right now. Ma'am Honister stopped short. She said, you say that you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine? Yes, you did not perceive it then. Then they were just alike. You didn't recognize that it was different because we have given, it was a, a, a miss, almost alike. And she smiled with the proud and simple joy. Ma'am Ponster was touched and took both her hands as she replied, Oh, my poor Matilda, mine were false. They were not worth over 500 francs. And she said that the necklace which I have given to wear you in that party, it was not, it was not a real necklace, it was false necklace. And what was the course cost of that? Around only 500 francs and then she stopped. So here the lesson ends. So we have understood that in this lesson that how Matilda, say in the, in the beginning she was very uh, enthusiastic, she was very disappointed uh, when she got married with my Mr. Loisel. Then afterwards Loisel has created one opportunity to make her happy uh, and she went at the party and she has taken, uh, borrowed one necklace from uh, Madame Poste who was a friend of Matilda afterwards she has lost that and then when she lost that they were very afraid and then she thought many questions around about that if uh, if she will recognize that new one necklace which, we, which they purchased for 36,000 francs then what she will think but she didn't and then around 36,000 francs they have to again recollect so they paid much hard work for that and she turned into very, uh, you know, very strong woman. Uh, her beauty was totally lost and nothing remained. And one day when she had met to her friend again, that time she understood, she come to knew that uh, the necklace which uh, she has uh, given, it was, uh, which was given by Madame Forrester was false. And she had given a real necklace of worth of uh, 36,000 francs. So here we can understand that uh, by this lesson that one should um, live in her accordance. Okay, what people are around us, no matter, but how we are contented, whatever we have, that is very important. So we should not um, chase the things of others. We have to uh, be very, you know, contented within ourselves. We have to progress, but we should not see others and we have to hurt ourselves. That's what uh, this lesson has uh, taught us because if uh, we do that, maybe uh, this type of such type of miserability can come in our life. Okay, so try to pro progress ourselves, try to develop ourselves, but don't follow others. Whatever you have, use it. Whatever 
uh, your qualities are the qualities are very very important rather than this uh, rich you know, some things material material which uh, rich people have taken so we should not be materialistic we should be very uh, you know realistic we have to live our life in a realistic way so this is what that writer wanted to convey through this lesson and i think you have understood this lesson the necklace so thank you thank you very much